Hey folks, I'm the Mysterious JG, and welcome to uh, Let's Play Wolfenstein the Old Blood. Very briefly, before I get rolling, um, for old fans of my channel, you'll see uh, what I got going right now. My computer recently downloaded Warriors Roshi 3 Ultimate. Uh, if you're, you're one of my regular viewers, give me a shout if you're interested in seeing more Warriors Orochi. Uh, at the moment, this is something I have in mind as something to play around offline for my own entertainment. But not LP, because I think I've got, uh, already I've got plenty of Kawaii content. Um, and I got the new, the two most recent, um, PlayStation Network free games. Um, Guacamelee actually sounds like a perfect game to do together with Bobo, because it's supposed to be a Metroidvania-style open-world game, but, um... I don't know, we got plenty of stuff already going. But, uh, what we're here today to play is, uh... Wolfenstein the Old Blood, and I've got Wolfenstein the New Order right here. Uh, anybody who's been following that series on my channel uh, knows that it's over now, and that the upload rate kind of uh, greatly increased, uh, and the reason for that, if you didn't piece it together and I didn't mention it in passing, is because I wanted to finish so that I could play the Old Blood. Uh, I kind of wanted to play the Old Blood. I was thinking, like, man, I'm going to record a video and have a video out on this. On the very first night it comes out, I'll be the first one on the internet. And it's like, didn't happen. Because, you know, I have a freaking job, and it came out in the middle of the week. <laughs> I'm a small potatoes, just for fun, YouTuber anyway. So I don't think I was going to, like, suddenly take over the YouTubes with my timely Old Blood Let's Play. That being said, uh, I don't want to stall too much longer. I do have a full uh, Let's Play of the New Order up on my channel, uh, so go check that out if you're interested. But uh, there should not be any requirement for you to know what happened in the New Order for to enjoy the Old Blood, because the Old Blood is actually set earlier than the New Order. Uh, the biggest difference, I think, that we're going to find, I played a little bit of Old Blood offline just to make sure everything was working. I found it, uh, in the very first combat section, I found it to be fairly difficult uh, for me. And uh, I think it's a combination of the fact that this game might be a little bit tougher than the New Order, possibly. And more importantly, with the New Order, I played through pretty much... Like, your very first videos you saw, I was playing kind of blind. And then I was like, you know what, I'm actually going to finish... I'm actually going to go through and do uh, the Wyatt storyline offline, get, all the, get the power-ups, get the perks, and then I played the Fergus storyline in front of you guys. But it meant that I already knew what was going on. With the Old Blood, I'm pretty much playing blind, and I don't have any of the combat perks. I think I earned two combat perks uh, while playing around with it the other night. And uh, therefore, uh, there's a real good chance that I'm not going to do too hot here up front. What a great way to entice viewers, huh? To tell you how much I'm going to suffer. <laughs> but uh, that's enough bullshit. Let's uh, get on with the Wolfenstein, the Old Blood. I love that Nazi with the shock thing behind him and the, the spittle hanging between his teeth. It's good stuff. It's Bethesda, folks. Bethesda's been pretty reliable about providing good games. They've probably got a stinker or a clunker out there that I just haven't played, but um, no, they've been, uh, they've been solid, man. Big ups to Bethesda. These guys here, id. I'm not familiar with anything that these guys have done other than uh, the Wolfenstein games that have come out on these next-gen consoles, but uh, Wolfenstein New Order was like a surprise to me. It looked fun from the commercials, it looked like it wasn't going to take itself too seriously, but man, really an excellent game, and uh, I enjoyed the hell out of it. So let's check out the new blood, and uh, I've got a safe slot, but I'm actually going to... Oh man, can I... I don't want to lose my um, my 7% completion Oh, of the first chapter or the whole game, I wonder. I don't want to just continue from where I left off because I want you guys to see everything. So, yeah, I think I can start. Oh, German Alps is its own chapter? Weird. Well, I'll start from the beginning. And as before, there's Can I Play Daddy? Don't Hurt Me. Can ich spielen Water? <laughs> Hurtin Mick Nick. I'm pretending I know German. Bring him on. I am Death Incarnate. And the one that I do know how to say in German. Uber. 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 Because it has an umlaut. But we're going to play on Bring him on. 
which is the regular one. Rewriting, replaying a chapter, overwrite your latest autosave. Yes, I do want that, in fact. Because, um, I don't know, maybe this, this game wasn't like, uh, I'm trying to think how much this cost. I pre-ordered it. And I pre-ordered it with a small discount because of PlayStation Network. But it was like, you know, it was more expensive than just getting a DLC pack would have been uh, for the new order. This is a standalone game, but it wasn't like retail, go to Best Buy, buy a brand new PS4 game off the shelf price either. So I'm thinking this game is probably short on the short side. Uh, but yeah, the the bridge was not really a combat chapter. Get psyched! Of disease. Passed through blood spilled by warriors. I feel the winds from the gathering storm. Warriors, come out and play. Oh, I say that stands for operations slaughtering assholes. <laughs> I'm funny. Trying to steal Nazi documents from Helga von Schatz. For Schatz. Im Hauptquartier des Führers sprach der Oberkommandierende des Heeres am 15. März 1946 über die jüngsten Erfolge der deutschen Armee. Voller Zuversicht, dass der Einzige nur wenigen Jahren zu erreichen German is a sprach er great language. We're talking about war. It just, I, I don't mean to offend anybody, but the, there are sounds used in German the words the world that just, shoulders, they Blaskowitz. sound right when talking about war. I've got pretty war. solid shoulders, Agent One. Well, we're losing. French Bloody is a language war. of love. Oh, Nobody up. told me. HQ's put a tight lid on it. General Death said is manufacturing unstoppable killing machines in a secret compound. One of his lieutenants, Helga von Schabs, is keeping the folder mentioned in your mission briefing at her base of operations, Castle Wolfenstein. Wolfenstein. This folder contains the location of Death Set's compound. Stein. Could be our last chance, this. Before the Nazis wipe out all that's good in the world. America would never fold. America! Fuck yeah. Alright, here's the checkpoint. Remember your cover. Commander Franz. Nazi bastard from the SS in Frankfurt. Sorry, I was pausing it briefly. Hey, checking to make sure I got my uh, my little health bonuses that I got from off-screening. Also, to apologize for ch chatting too much over the, the dialogue there. Uh, the thing I was like bullshitting away that you missed was uh, that uh, this this guy that we're driving with, we're Blaskowitz, of course, B.J. Blaskowitz. The guy that we're driving with mentioned that the uh, Germans are winning the war, and Blaskowitz is like, it's news to me, and. Uh, you know, and then later on, it's like America will never fold. Uh, I, I guess, you don't need to know what happened. It's what happens in Wolfenstein: The New Order to play this game. But I think part of the background is that that game is set in the future where America did surrender, the Germans did win the war. Obviously, so we're on this mission to find the location of Death Said Compound. But in fact, uh, the first part of Wolfenstein is you leading a failed attempt to destroy the Death Side compound, and uh, then every chapter after the first is set with you uh, in a, like, you know, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, man, it's just not coming together for me tonight. Sorry, folks. Uh, you're sort of in this dystopian future past, actually, uh, because uh, the New Order is set in the 60s, but it's like... It's in the future for the Wolfenstein universe and the past for us, but it's this alternative uh, past where the Germans won, blah, blah, blah. So I guess bear that in mind with some of this dialogue. Uh, Blaskowitz just can't believe the Americans could be losing in USA, USA, and uh, yeah, not working out so much. The other thing I wanted to say, um, and I swear I'll get back to the action such as it is in a moment, I was just looking at the background with the mountains and stuff, and it's really pretty, and I think... Uh, I just got to thinking how old I am. Because <laughs> I didn't play a lot of the early Wolfenstein games, but I bounced this game off those for comparison, and the games I played when I was a kid, and I'm like, just, just think about this for a second, folks. Even the, like, most middle... And these, these games I would not say are middle at all. The Wolfenstein games on the PS4, and I guess they're probably on the Xbox One as well, have been excellent, but these... um. Even the most middling games for the current generation system just blow everything I played when I was a kid out of the water. So that thought bubbled to the top of my consciousness there. I will now get back to the actual game. I'm trying not to make these uh, sidebars come up quite so frequently. Nice car, too. Hope no fault errors. Die Papiere, bitte. Hier. 
That's some good German right there here. Fahren Sie zum Kontrollpunkt da vorne und zeigen Sie dort Ihre Papiere. Vielen Dank. Wiedersehen. Mel Brooks. You and me, Blaskowitz. What a good team. We can do this. Hey, how come there's no subtitles? Okay, look. You're German? Frankly, it's atrocious. Furchtbar. So no talking. And keep your gun holstered for as long as you can. The papers cast are prepared for you are in the glove box. Sorry. I'm reminded of in German class in high school. Uh, my German, the third German teacher I had, the one that I had for most of my German high school career, was, um, oh wow, I can't believe it, I'm blanking on her name. I used to be pretty close to the forefront of my uh, consciousness. Uh, I can remember her first name and not her last name. That's bizarre. But um, she was not uh, particularly encouraging. Uh, <laughs> I was one of her least favorite students, and German was my worst subject. I did very well in high school, if you're wondering, but German was my worst subject. And she told me one time, Deine Grama ist furchtbar. <laughs> and I was like, well, at least I know what that means. <laughs> yeah. There. So here's our papira. Okay. Helmut Frank. Let's go. And remember, stay focused, stay quiet, and follow me, right? Commandant Franz, Haus Frankfurt, Guten Morgen, Guten Morgen. Wir machen ihr eigenes first. Fuck it, he said. See, I keep talking when he's in the middle of saying something hilarious or awesome. Uh, we are in a non-combat area, so we're extremely limited to what we're allowed to do. Uh, ducking does not seem to be in order like crouching. I'm kind of exploring here, which I did not do before. Um, apparently I missed a collectible when I played through this before. A character. We got Wesley, Agent 1. My Wesley will come for me. Richard Wesley, codename Agent 1, was born and raised in Wales. <laughs> oh, he's from Wales, huh? I'm trying to think, can I do a Welsh accent? Not really. His father was a veteran. Eh, no, I no, I'm not even going to try. His father was a veteran from the Great War, and his mother was a primary school teacher, resurrected, res resurrected, Jesus, respected for his experience and brutal efficiency. He is one of the most important operatives within the OSA. Rudy Yeager. Rudy Yeager is Helga's second in command. We'll be meeting him shortly at Castle Wolfenstein's prison dungeon. Ooh. Before being assigned to Castle Wolfenstein, Yeager used to work as General Death's head personal death. Head's personal dog trainer. One of Jaeger's favorite pastime activities is to feed his dogs with the prisoners from the castle dungeon. Yeah, the, the game will occasionally give us sympathetic Germans, and you'll get dialogue in the back. Like, you'll hear, overhear German soldiers on guard talking to each other, and they just sound like regular dudes, kind of bored with guard duty or whatnot. But, um, by and large, the Nazis not portrayed sympathetically in this game. Uh, and the one nice thing you can say for Nazis, a group of people about whom there are very few good things to say, they have given Western culture, movies, video games, television, etc., a nice universal symbol of evil that you can always safely, like, you know, attack and beat up uh, without anybody criticizing you too harshly. No one's going to say, hey, you're not being even-handed in your portrayal of the Nazi villains. BJ Undercover. It was hard to find a uniform that would fit BJ's massive build. So the OSA hired a tailor and made a custom uniform. Man, I'd love to meet his tailor. And marksmen. These elite soldiers are excellent marksmen armed with the deadly Bombenschuss carbine. They are equipped with a visor that allows them to hit targets over great distances. These distances are great! Man, I won't bother reading all the rest of this crap. Oh, and there was a letter. I suppose that won't pop up now. Or maybe it will. Uh, mein lieber Reinhold, es gibt da ein Geheimnis, das ich gern mit der Tillen möchte. And see, I, the problem is I really can't read this that well on my screen. It's not even so much that I can't pronounce the words, although I probably can't. Du verstehst das, lieber Reinhold. Wie versuch schreiben. My dear Reinhold, I have a secret to share. A secret concerning ancient kings and arcane knowledge. But first, you know how to write a letter that warms a woman's heart, my dear Reinhold. And thank you so much for the vines. It was delicious. I hope you know how much I enjoy and value our continued correspondence, even though we are no longer lovers. Thanks, I need to know that. Perhaps it was for the best of separation, because I've witnessed sides of you now that I've never seen during any of our years before. Perhaps you are unable to open your heart to the women whom you are romantically involved with. 
Yeah, it's this very German kind of love letter, isn't it? It's not a love letter, but... Anyway, I'm currently drowning in work. It seems that I will... And it seems I will be so for the most of the year. <laughs> Sorry. This is the kind of LP you're getting into, folks, so I'm giving you the chance to turn back now. And it seems I will be so for most of this year. I feel an absolute bore. But I must decline your invitation to visit your estate in Florence. Oh, man, maybe they were going to go to war with Gilder. The Germans were attacking a lot of places. As soon as my calendar clears up, I will contact you, I promise. About the secret, big things are afoot here at Castle Wolfenstein. Do you remember I confided in the last letter I sent you about finding King Otto's secret study here in the castle? His study chamber. Chamber chamber. Well, I found the king's very own diary. I have had it translated in my god, Reinhold. It is such a fascinating read. I knew a lot about King Otto before, of course, seeing that I am a direct descendant to him. But I did not know that he had such a fervent interest in the occult sciences. Like me! It seems it runs in the family. It's a German... Uh, it's a, like a World War II um, Nazi uh, pulp fiction standby, is the idea. Because Hitler apparently had an interest in the occult in real life. So the idea, you know, it's Raiders of the Lost Ark is not the first place that uh, played around the idea of Nazis looking for ancient super weapons. This fascination seems to have developed after the death of his wife, Igdith. Igdith. It must have been a great loss to him. Of course, these personal details mean little to me, being a cold Nazi bitch. But what intrigued me, dear Reinhold, is that the king would wrote about some parchments which came into his possession during an incident in Istanbul. Was Constantinople, of course. These parchments seem to have been mostly related to advanced alchemical research. Even more fascinating, fascinating, Captain, the king began to create war machines, which he used to expand his empire. You can understand this sparked my curiosity. That's why I decided to start an investigation into what treasures of his could still be buried in this part of the country. I have recently launched an expedition to the nearby city of Wolfburg, and I'm uh, currently making preparations to go there myself and oversee the operation. Anyway, hope to see you soon. Love and kisses, Helga, the evil Nazi. All right. I'm more curious now than anything else whether I can get myself into trouble, uh, get attacked by the guards who are going to places I shouldn't, but it doesn't look like it's going to let me do that. And just some lovely details on the, the Nazi guard post here. We are, of course, in the German house. This is the prologue. I'm not going to guess what any of that means, because it's it's not just German, a language I don't know well. It's also uh, abbreviations. Oh, there's the Ziggerheits protocol, so security protocol. Oh, I know what I meant to do. I'm sorry. The actual reason I got involved with all this nonsense was to see if we could turn on uh, subtitles for English, as well as... Uh, yeah. This way, if I'm uh, prattering, away, prattering away like an idiot, you can actually still tell what's going on. And you know what? I never did this before, but I think I might uh, turn the voice volume up. See how that goes. Because usually I like to be able to hear the voices pretty clearly. Sometimes they get a bit drowned out by the music. That's why I just shoved me aside. Are you am I seriously not going to be able to get past this guy? I want to go, uh... Where's the toilet? Hmm? Yeah, don't call him Uncle Man. What are you thinking about? Dummkopf. Dummkopf und Schweinhund. Germanian Paderborn. This game had some really nice, uh, just background graphics of German propaganda. Adolf Hitler is der Sieg and all that kind of thing, although that never actually showed up. Hitler are not mentioned in these games. Germanen sehen am starker Seel. Seil, actually. Der gute Burger ist punktlich. The good villager is punctual? Urpassen sie nicht ihren Zug. Yeah, whatever. I don't actually, uh... I said I'd, I learned a bit of German in uh, high school, but it was my worst subject. Zeigen Sie Ihre Papiere. Hier, bitte sehr. Hm. Alles klar. I think it said bitte sehr. How did it, how did that translate to officer? I mean, it can't hop over it like a, you know, I'm a character in the Warriors. Guten Morgen, Herr Jäger. 
Oh man, it's like an yes, early version of those uh, robotized dogs. Keep up here, the Yeah, look, I'm pressing the button. Augenblick, warten Sie. Aus Frankfurt. Sind Sie Frankfurter? Ja, äh, ein hot dog. Nick. <laughs> 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 Funny guy. He can't be German. He has a sense of humor. <laughs> Sorry, German viewers. Die wird sich wundern, wenn wir an der Macht sind. Weiter. Greta. I think any German viewers I have, and I do have some, and I appreciate their patronage. I, I think they like me in spite of, and not because of my deep knowledge and understanding of cultures other than my own. <laughs> yeah, so anyway. Maybe the fact that I have... Uh, I, if the, it is commonly believed by non-Germans that Germans don't have a good sense of humor. I, don't th I think Germans are aware that the rest of the world has that particular stereotype. <laughs> so maybe if I have a bunch of German fans and I'm trying to crack jokes, <laughs> they're like, then, according to stereotypes, like, wow, I must really not be good. The Germans love me. It's kind of like the France uh, loves... Uh, uh, oh, man, I can't remember his name. Oh, I'm losing it. Jerry Lewis. Yeah, the whole... The, the Americans have this weird stereotype that the French love Jerry Lewis. So uh, we, we got some oddball ideas sometimes. Germans, of course, are known for the love of David Hasselhoff, a fact that America was taught by Norm MacDonald. Anyway. Yeah, German viewers out there, appreciate your patronage. Do wonder why you guys love uh, David Hasselhoff so much. <laughs> kind of a bit of a national joke in America. But not, not really, because not that many people remember who he is. You, you are really trying to look like Mel Gibson, aren't you? Today and always, Hot 1946. Dog. Reckon I had to say something. Reckon? That was Rudy Jaeger, Helga's second in command. You should have said he feeds his hamburger. Prisoners from the castle's dungeon. You should feed them Frankfurters. Oh, excuse me. As I continue to make the LP more and more appealing. So somehow I seem to have missed, uh character art here. At least that's what it seems like when I went back to the, the menu. I got the locked icon. Oh, so maybe later in the game I'll be able to come through here because it's marked as locked. Castle Wolfenstein assassin executed. It was the Fuhrer himself who put the noose around the neck of the assassin known as the Castle Wolfenstein terrorist when he was executed early Sunday morning. Herr Hitler. Ooh, wow! This is the first mention of Hitler in these uh, in these games. I mean, in the ones that I've played, the ones that have come out within the last couple of years. Herr Hitler. Herr Hitler. Herr Hitler was in a fine mood, having recovered remarkably well from the cowardly assassination attempt. As he was led in the execution chamber, Chera sold himself when he saw our Fuhrer in such good health. Let this be a powerful reminder that all our enemies of a great nation will meet a righteous end. Said Herr Hitler after the assassination had stopped twitching, where he hung from a rope. We're not supposed to satisfy the being. Huh, I wonder if they will, um... Okay, I think this is, like, kind of retconning around maybe a bit, because, uh... We've, the plot of the earlier Wolfenstein games, I think, was, uh... You as B.J. Blazkowicz going in to kill Hitler. So, maybe they're going to explain what happened with them. There's, like, Wolfenstein wikis. There are serious Wolfenstein fans who know the history of the series better than I do. I just noticed that in the uh, the New Order they never mention Hitler. I always assumed that Death's Head was supposed to have taken over as Fuhrer and that Hitler was dead. But uh, maybe that's not the case after all. Guten Morgen. Guten Morgen. Heil Hitler. Guten Morgen. Guten Abend. Ah, uh, Morgan. Damn. And they kill you. Because you said good afternoon. So clearly you're an American spy. Helga on shops. Yep. It's a real looker. Nasty piece of work. Handpicked by Death's head himself. He picked her as a key member of the SS Paranormal Division. 
Now, I had the misfortune of encountering her on a mission to Tanzania. Did I ever tell you about that, Blaskowitz? I'm British. I was sick with Blackwater fever at the time. Always well. Possibly the worst That's day British. of my life. Not even a heavy diet of whiskey could improve my condition. You can imagine. Uh, anyway. Can you imagine a problem that can't castle? be solved by whiskey? Helga owns it. It's her occult research center. Pretty cool, now, we actually. We need to take down Death's Head or the war will be lost. And Helga is vital in doing this. There's a top secret document folder in Helga's office. It should give us the location of Death's Head's compound. I'm Once going to gesture that, with my hands now. Well then, we can launch an assault on his base of operations. Shoot him dead. Turn this failure of a war around and be back just in time for tea. Of course he's safe just in time for tea. I mean, you're British. Uh, you don't need to, like, beat me over the head with a blood sausage to prove it, buddy. Just in time for tea. Right. I Off you go. I'm, uh... I'll disable the alarm. You head for Helga's research center. We'll stay in touch via radio. Leaving the channel a, open. I have a good uh, opinion of this character so far. He seems fun. But, um... As he says Britishy stuff... Wales is part of Britain. Uh, it's not part of England. This is the kind of thing you need to get straight or the UK fans will riot on you. But, um... Oh, wait. You know, I know Wales is... Okay, Wales is part of the UK. The UK... <laughs> Never mind. I'm trying to rattle off back. I think Britain is synonymous with England, but maybe... Well, the island of Britain is the island that has England, Scotland, and Wales. Blah, blah, blah. At any rate, this guy starts trying to sound all uh, UK on us, and I start immediately wishing that uh, Major Tom was here. Ah. So I didn't find this before. I wonder if we're going to hate Helga as much as we hated uh, Frau What's-Her-Face from uh, The New Order. Because she was a nasty piece of work. Fascinated, so she's fascinated, but it says excited. I question this uh, translation. So I wonder if he now is the. Because uh, it said we missed a character. Oh, I guess we got them all. I don't know what the hell doing. And, uh. I say over now, I wonder. See, I thought she would be Obersturmann Führerin. I thought it would be like, Führer, is Führerin even a word? Is that one of those nouns that you don't put a gender suffix on? Maybe Führerin's like a legitimate word, but it sounds all kinky, like uh, mistress is the female version of master, but you don't really just call somebody that unless they're like, you know, wearing thigh-high boots and carrying a whip. Anyway, I didn't really get to find out what overnight was because I was talking. Alright, buddy, sit back down. I guess I'm in disguise as somebody who outranks you then. Hey, cool, German condoms! No, no, this is, uh. I guess these are candies. I don't know, my, there's cigarettes. And sodas. Zuperzoffs! Nuka Cola. Ah, Nuka Cola. See, it's Potesta. They can reference that kind of thing. Limonen Quella. Quella? I forget how you pronounce Q's in German. I think it's a K sign. Not a letter that shows up a lot in written German. So you are not going to salute, huh? Oh yeah, scratch your ear, maybe a fucker. You are a fine German-looking lad. Checking out the posters. I don't need to get the fuck on with it here. Okay. Like, what have I not done to make this a bad video? Stalled! Um, and now I cursed for no reason, so. Mm. Klebt seine Augen. Helga ist ganz verrückt nach dem Scheiß. Besonders nach allem, was mit König Otto zu tun hat. 
Denkst du, es würde jemandem auffallen, wenn der fehlt? Spinnst du? Weißt du, in was für einer Hölle du landest, wenn Helga das rausfindet? Das war eine hypothetische Frage, Rolf. Außerdem ist Helga gerade in Bulls Rolf. mit anderen Dingen beschäftigt, richtig? Ich will nachsichtig sein mit dir. Diese Unterhaltung aus meinem Gedächtnis löschen. Und jetzt hältst du den Mund. Verstanden? Hast du mich verstanden? Du hast gesagt, ich soll den Mund halten. <lacht> So we're on our way into the archaeologisches uh, Forschungszentrum, the archaeologic. Yeah, forget it. Moon, the future is coming. Yeah, well. <laughs> I love. Are those just generic Nazis, or are they supposed to be Hitler's going to the moon? <laughs> future is coming folks and in the future we know for a fact that uh Blaskowitz is going to go to the moon kill a bunch of nazis and look at a poster of a nazi officer his wife and his kid and mistake the kid for a monkey that's coming in the future the jukunft is yet inside the elevator And now the combat part begins. There you go now. Sleep tight. This is where things become, well, A, it's the first point at which it's possible to lose, but uh, I lost here a lot. During the portion where you can sneak around, I did fine. There's going to come a portion where their enemies on full alert. And I'm already wondering if there's some other thing I should have done, because I did a shit job. Part of it was because, in order to get the... Oh, you know what, it's time to call it a video. Uh, real quickly before we go. The two perks that I unlocked uh, were health bonuses. They increase health regeneration speed. Uh, increase health regeneration by 5 health points, and then the last one, which I haven't got yet, increases maximum health points by 25. So far, man, the perks, there's a lot fewer of them. I think they may uh, have come under the impression that Wolfenstein, the New Order, was too easy once you get perks, and I gotta say, near the end of that LP, I started to really feel like I was having a much easier time of it uh, than I had in my off screening. So this game, I think they're just, uh, it's gonna be a bit tougher. But, um... Oh, got one twenty. So that one I just did is the first stealth takedown I had with a, yeah. But um, I got these by uh, overcharging to two hundred, and then over and separately overcharging to two fifty because there's a ton of health packs in this room. There's going to be a lot of combat in this room um, in the next video. But by getting all of the health packs up front and using them all before the combat started to get the perk, I made things more difficult. We'll see uh, whether I can do a more respectable job later uh, in the next video. So, uh, I'm the Mysterious JG. I want to thank you guys very much for watching. And, uh, you know, we're at a bit of a leisurely pace here, but uh, the action should pick up. We only killed one Nazi in the first video. That's madness. But I'm sure we'll be killing a lot more next time. Thanks for watching, folks. Uh, I'll be your Zane